What's up, what's up, what's up everybody? It's Josh here, standing in the lobby. Got a little after hours action going for you. Um, it's about seven o'clock right now. And I wanna make a quick video because we did a webinar recently and we had some people ask about setting up an LLC for your photo booth business, okay? Should you set it up? How to set it up? Is it the right thing? Is there a different business structure? All right, so that's what we're gonna talk about today. So whenever we started off, we got wrong advice, okay? And ignorance will cost you money, like it did me. We got wrong advice, okay? Someone told us to do a partnership, and we did a sole proprietor. And then, finally, we ponied up the money, and we did uh, the LLC, okay? So, the reason why you need an LLC, all right, it's not business advice, I'm not an attorney, all right? Don't hold me to it, you need to go out there and, and uh, get it done, you know, by a regular, uh, by an attorney. Okay, so I would recommend getting an LLC to protect your business in case somebody trips, falls in your photo booth or your photo booth injures somebody. Um, it has some kind of protection for you so that people don't have access to your personal assets, okay? Now, an attorney can explain that to you better and you should start developing a relationship with a local attorney because you will be needing them as your business grows right so what you want to do you can go on thumbtack go on yelp go on google look for three or five attorneys uh send them messages see who responds back see if uh, they are helpful if they're friendly if you can call them if you can pick up the phone and get through to them uh, tell them what you're doing make sure they clearly understand make sure they have reasonable pricing and tell them uh, what you what you're doing they'll recommend a business structure for you uh, but uh, you know it may be a little bit of money up front but it's gonna save you uh, down the line uh, and if you do it you know if you do the sole proprietor first and then you go to the LLC it's more paperwork and more headache or you may forget and then if you forget and something happens then that's gonna cost you money all right so you don't wanna you might as well just get it done. Just, you know, if you're right, trying to blow up, if you want to blow up, if you want to do it right, okay, just go ahead and cough up the money for the LLC, put on a credit card, finance it if you have to, whatever, just get it done properly, and that way it's clean and you don't have to worry about it, okay? Because it will come back and bite you if you don't set it up properly. It's going to take time, okay? Especially when, you know, when you start your business, you have a lot of time, but as your business grows, you're not going to have a lot of time, so you're going to you know take time out go downtown and you know close the sole proprietor and then you know open the LLC and all this stuff it's just a lot of hitting so uh, find an attorney meet with them interview them it's like an interview right you're hiring someone interview them make sure you can make sure they're cool make sure you can get help when you need it make sure they're not uh, you know some people you know how some people are with, with stuff like that but anyway you know make sure you can vibe with them make sure they're gonna be there for you okay they're gonna be there for you. That's what's gonna be important. And they understand, okay? So tell them what you're doing. They'll get the LLC set up and they'll give you a corporate book, which you need articles uh, of incorporation. You need your tax ID. Uh, you need your operating agreement, okay? They'll cover all of that stuff with you. But start with that. And then that way it's done properly and you can sleep easy at night, not having to worry about any type of legal issues, okay? There's, there are other websites you can get it done at, uh, LegalZoom and um, different websites out there set it up. Uh, but you want to start that relationship with that attorney because if something were to happen, you already have that relationship established. Okay, we d we uh, whenever we were starting off, we we hired a really good attorney and you know he was with us through different things, challenges that happened throughout your business, and it was easy because we had a relationship with him so uh or her so just do it properly from the beginning don't cheap out on it because anything you cut you cut corners now it's going to come back later and bite you all right don't waste your time all right if you're going to do it do it properly set it up spend the money okay I'll talk to you later if you do have uh if you want more mentoring coaching you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, you can go to jpinnercircle.com uh you can come spend the day with me at the pbiexperience.com uh or you can visit my website, joshpatha.com, you know, reach out. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching, mentoring. We've got the inner circle. Love to help you out and help you take your business to the next level. Take care. Bye.